Hey, this is Rick Terry, your Maine Real Estate Guide. I'm on location today in the town of Patton, Maine, here in northern Penobscot County. And what I've got coming to market is something totally different uh, for those of you who've been watching our channel for a while. But uh, nonetheless, it's a it's a great property, and you you may find it interesting. So what I'm bringing to market today is a 22,080 square foot manufacturing facility in the town of Patton. And what I'm looking for is for an entrepreneur or a business-minded individual who would like to locate their business in the town of Patton within this, this structure. So it's 22,080 uh, square feet of manufacturing uh, facility. The building was originally built uh, in 1987 and it housed a, uh, a wood flooring uh, manufacturer at that time. Uh, then it was uh, re uh, more recently purchased and, uh, and converted to uh, manufacture uh, pellets, both wood and uh, uh, grain pellets for feeding to, to horses. Um, but it could be about anything. Uh, so if you're looking for a large facility to set up a business, this may be just the ticket. Now the town of Patton is a small community in northern Penobscot County with a long history of wood harvesting. And you can, uh, uh, one of the sites here in town is the Patton Lumberman's Museum, which kind of showcases that long history of wood harvesting in this area. And uh, so there, if you are a uh, manufacturer of something that uh, utilizes, uh, you know, wood, uh, uh, this may be a place to uh, to set up, set up shop right here. So let's take a look at uh, uh, 19 Mill Street, here in the town of Patton, 22,080 square feet of manufacturing space on eight and a half acres uh, with actually waterfront on uh, Fish Stream, and we'll check that out in a, in a little bit. Uh, but this is coming to market at $599,900. So let's take a look. The building is uh, on a concrete slab, concrete, uh, there's a lot of concrete in there, and is a uh, metal frame. Steel, steel beams and uh, it's got metal sheathing on the in, uh, for the roof as well as the siding. It's in pretty decent shape. It's had many updates over the years on, on, the, uh, on the inside in the manufacturing facility, so it's, uh, it's pretty current. Uh, it's got three-phase power. It's got a very innovative uh, uh, biomass boiler uh, for, for heat in the, in the colder months of the year. We'll check that out uh, and talk a little more when we get inside. But here's kind of a look around the outside of the building. It's tough to see it all from the ground, and uh, so hopefully some of the, the drone footage will give you a kind of a perspective of this, of this facility. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive. So again, eight and a half acres on Fish Stream. We'll get over here. We can see a little bit of the waterfront from this angle here. There's been... Uh, mills in this location over the years for, uh, for, for probably probably as long as Patton has been around. I'm, I'm sure they had a had a dam right here on Fish Stream back in the back in the day to probably run a sawmill or a grist mill or something um, but uh, current it's not dammed right now the remnants of the dam are, are here but but there there's no uh, you know power generation or anything like that but it is Pretty, pretty neat uh, waterfront location. You got some large overhead doors, both ends of the building for getting big equipment inside and outside of the, of the structure. It has public water and public sewer provided by the municipality of, of Patton. Patton is a, small, is a small community of roughly 885 year-round residents. It's a nice little community. It's quite a vibrant little downtown business section. You got hardware, groceries, healthcare, all available right here in Patton. Some of the metal on metal sheathing on the structure has been run into over the years by equipment or probably when they're taking care of snow in the winter time, dented it a little bit, but it's it's pretty weather tight. It's just not as aesthetically pleasing as you may want, but it's in pretty decent shape overall. There's your big transformer. 
for that three phase power. This building just goes on forever. This is a great location to set up a business. It's a very picturesque part of Maine in the Katahdin Valley. Coming in into the, to the town of Patton, it's, it's just breathtaking because you, you can see Mount Katahdin and Mount Chase and a whole bunch of other mountains that I don't know the name of, but part of the Appalachian chain <coughs> that uh, goes right, right around Patton through Mount Chase on into uh, Baxter State Park where Mount Katahdin is and that is uh, kind of the end of the Appalachian Trail. People usually start there that hike the Appalachian Trail start in Georgia and end up in Millinock at about this time of year. So currently this building has uh, been used to manufacture pellets and here's some of that equipment to do that. You can see from the outside of the building here. You got pretty decent access to raw wood materials from this area because we're surrounded by hundreds of thousands of acres of industrial timberland with both soft and hardwood. You got good access to the interstate. There are two ramps on ramps that you can access from the town of Patton. They're each about 10 miles from this property. Here's a look at kind of the remnants of when there used to be a, a dam here on Fish Stream. You can see the concrete there. As I mentioned, it currently doesn't have hydro. But it's a cool spot with the ledge and the water behind. And in the springtime, this would be very impressive. This is the fall, but in the spring, during spring runoff, it'd be beautiful. So Patton is largely a farming and wood harvesting community. Both industries still are practiced. Coming, coming into the town of Patton, you pass by many farms. That, uh, the main crop grown in this part of the world is potatoes, but we grow grains and other vegetables as well. And then there are, as I mentioned, thousands of acres of woodlands. So let's head inside and take a look at the inside of the 22,080 square feet of manufacturing space. So we'll head in inside the structure. Here you got a place where you can back up a trailer truck to load it up or, or drive right in on this ramp. Here's a kind of panorama of the interior of the building. Again, it's in pretty decent, decent condition. Roof's good, siding's in decent shape. Uh, lighting's good, electrical's good. It's got a fire suppression system. And here's some of the pellet manufacturing equipment. And this can convey, maybe that's a business you want to get into. And that, that equipment can convey with the sale. There is a second story where office spaces are. We, there is internet available. The office is upstairs. We'll check that out in a bit. There are bathroom facilities and break room, mechanics room. Let's head over here. This is the, the biomass boiler that I mentioned. It's very cool. I did a little reading on it. It's manufactured in Canada and it's, uh, it's made to burn waste material, and it, but it'll burn about anything uh, and will handle up to 50% moisture content. And basically you fill up this hopper with the waste material that you're gonna be burning to produce heat. It has an auger that will bring it in as needed into the combustion chamber 
where it's burned and then it heats water. And then there, there are Modine uh, heaters and fans to distribute the heat throughout the, this building. And in the coldest part of the winter, it will keep the interior of the building around 50 degrees plus or minus 5 degrees. Which in Maine is, is pretty, pretty nice, you know. So, you know, maybe a possible business might be the manufacture of tiny homes. Now, that's something I get phone calls on all about is everybody seems to want a tiny home. Well, this might be a great place to build them right inside. In climate-controlled environment, got 22,000 feet of floor space here. Heated conditions. And then you could roll them right out. These big doors. That might work. This building just goes on forever. This big box here is a huge walk-in cooler. Here's kind of the mechanics room. Because with all this facility, things are gonna break and you're gonna need to, to fix them. So it's good to have equipment to repair. Any breaks. So again, this facility, eight and a half waterfront acres in the town of Patton, 22,080 square feet of finished space is available for $599,900. So if you're a business owner or entrepreneur looking for a place to set up shop, this may be just the place. Patton's a great little community. This is a great recreational area, four season destination. There are miles and miles of ATV trails, snowmobile trails, countless ponds and streams available to, to uh, explore. Lots of wildlife, moose, deer, bear. There's a washroom here. Made entrance for, if you had employees, you could have your time clock right here. Then up these stairs is the office space. And you get a bathroom off the, off the office. Here's the main office. And more room here. Oh, even a full bath. I guess you could have an apartment right here. So if you have a, a need for a 22,080 plus or minus square foot building in a beautiful area to set up shop, you got a business idea, and you're just looking for a place to do it. And the Patton, Maine, and this facility will fit that bill. Give Rick Terrio, your Maine real estate guy, to call at area code 207 731 9902. Let's come take a look at the building and talk about your idea and let's see if we can make it happen. Look forward to your call.